Um, comedian Greg Giraldo died today um, of uh, what seems like an accidental drug overdose. Um, I did not know Greg, and um, the only reason I'm, I'm even doing this is because of a comment uh, that was made when I posted uh, about his death. Someone saying they find it very hard to feel sad for someone who kills themselves with drugs. And um, uh, some of you may know I was in a really difficult place earlier this month and I kind of didn't let on how bad it was and how isolated I was and um, how I stared at this blue bottle of sleeping pills for way too long and how I called whatever friends that were close by and and just wanted to hear some support um, because in this industry you can get to a place that's so low and there's no hope then as a comedian it's time to be happy and my heart goes out to his family but I'm just thinking about him and I'm sure it was accidental sometimes you just want to numb the pain but we have to be so vulnerable. We have to, we have no choice but to put it all out there. And funny is so subjective. And I can just imagine me in 10 years, he was 10 years older than me, in some hotel room and, and, and being alone and isolated. And it is the worst, least amount of hope and the older you get, it seems it can even get worse because that potential and that hope just starts to, to, to get worse. And it's just such, you should have all the compassion in the world for artists that are just trying to do what they do and get fucking slammed all the time. And um, to have been in that place this month and uh, to, to feel how I think he may have felt it, it, it rips me up. And as you know, there's that video that I got of the aftermath of me making another video where it looked like a suicide. It looked like I had overdosed on something. And I've always been frightened that that might be an end for me. And I want desperately for that not to happen. But that's what I've tried to show with this project. I've tried to show how hard it is and how vulnerable you are at all times and how I put it all out there so people can see. And so that woman that said, I find it hard to feel sad for someone that does this, fuck you. You know, you are isolated in your own little world and you don't know what it's like. You probably have a stable job and a stable living and your whole life and career doesn't depend on acting like you fucking feel good that day. We don't like your goatee, shave it off, be someone else. Look in the mirror like I do look now and don't recognize yourself, just be like that because that's better for us. Don't be you anymore. Come on, man, be very sad, be very sad. And I am, I am, I, my heart is broken uh, for anyone who, who just couldn't find the coping mechanisms for this fucking, this fucking industry that can kick your ass. So, no offense to you, ma'am, I'm sure you didn't think that was going to be the um, reaction to your little post, and I completely understand if you'd like to delete it. Um, I just think you are very naive and have no compassion. And you're a Christian, and it's like, come on, you know, I wish I was a Christian so I could tell you what you should feel. Lack of compassion for what what we go through in this industry makes me live it. So, yeah, so that's it, that's all. Um, things might be going pretty good for me right now, but I'm never forgetting just how bad it was. And um, 